Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange. Now, we just got all the ingredients to make a concoction to pick the lock to Baldy Fuck's uh, office thing. So here we go. Pipe bomb. Oh, damn, we got a pipe bomb? Take what is this, Call of Duty? Left for Dead? Let's try this instead. Boom. Literally. Yes. Time to blow shit up. She would be an awesome if character you in Left 4 Dead. Candle, this is so cool. Let me shut my ass up, though. Get ready to haul ass. Three, two, one. I started. Early. Okay, I was gonna count down again, but so it blew up prematurely. Cool. Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? I know what to do. We are gonna go in the office and then... Come on, get your ass in here, Chloe. Chloe, fine. Rewind time. Because that is our superpower. Yeah, buddy. There we go. But Chloe's not in here. But we can unlock the door. bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. This is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Hey, I hear you. I hear you talking shit. Welcome to my domain. Thank you. You are magic. Thank you. I have no clue how the hell you got in Thank there, you. but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. I'm excited to sneak through this office at night. I know all of you guys have wanted to how sneak through your school at one point. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be a Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. Hey, I'd be doing the same thing. Put my stank ass feet on the desk. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel or Kate or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Yeah, look through the files. That should be the most obvious thing. So let's check out these files over here. Because I'm pretty sure that he'll know what happened to Rachel or anybody. Hold on. Warren, our boy toy, texted us. Oh, please. I just wanted to see if you knew your explosives and to see your incredible artwork. And yes, our bomb did work. Thank you, buddy. Let's search these. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Student information sheet, Nathan Joshua Prescott. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record. Oh my god, kiss his ass more. And a variety of extracurricular activities, including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. Says who? He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Kiss those ass cheeks harder. Like I'm not going to read my own personal file. Okay, let's see. GPA 2.8. Come on, you can do better than that, Max. Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quite attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged she could be doing better. Okay, good. At least she knows she could be doing better than a 2.8. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Oh, I wonder which teachers that could be. Other Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student's suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update! Despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping a fellow student, Kate Marsh, from jumping off the dormitory roof today. Yup, we did that. At this time, there is an ongoing police faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can find Rachel's. This file is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. All right, first we're going to see what's going on with Victoria. Oh, dang, she has a 3.9 GPA? Hi. Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA in extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. Oh, damn, I did that all in one breath. God damn. Okay. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. 
Yeah, he looks like a stone cold killer. Student information, 4.0 GPA. Damn, Warren, I see you, baby girl. Warren is considered an exemplary student and represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his science teacher, Mrs. Grant. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues toward his bright future. I see you, Warren, with the 4.0, oh, my boy. But there's nothing about Kate or anybody else. Let's see here. Hopefully we can find something good. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. Nice. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Okay, this is a shit ton to read, and I'm not reading all of it, so I am going to read this on my own. You guys can pause this and read it yourself, but there's no way I'm reading all these words out loud. All right, you know what? Screw that, guys. This is crucial to the story since we are looking for Rachel. So I'm going to read through this, and I'm basically going to summarize it the only way I know how, which is the J way. So Rachel has stopped attending class for the past month, and she hasn't contacted anybody. Her parents don't know what's going on, and she is a good student at Blackwell. She excels in all of her studies. She's popular with both the students and faculty. And she wanted a career in international law. And Principal Wells, this is Lieutenant Chris Rossi, just wanted to let you all know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hoped for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Thanks for all your help. They closed the investigation? What? Why? Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Let's see what Chloe did. 1.7 GPA? My goodness! Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration. Chloe does little homework, <laughs> reminds me of myself, and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions, and she was suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. You bad, bad girl! Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, that's what my teachers always told me when I got in trouble, she chooses to squander in an empty rebellion against a non-mandatory institution. Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell. See attached police records. All right. So now we know what happened with Chloe. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Principal Wells, in light of the recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that my large contributions to Blackwell Academy should also be suspended. Of course, this situation can be rectified once Nathan is reinstated at Blackwell with a written apology. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive to the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy. I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. And I thank you because I read that without breaking character or losing my breath. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Where is the one for Kate? Look at this pile. Yes, it is a very disorganized pile. What's it to you? Tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. Let's see if she found anything. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Revenge on Blackwell. Be careful. Just... Please don't accidentally delete his hard drive or anything. Like you can't rewind and fix it. I don't want to make it a habit, okay? Whatever, crackhead. You're hooked. Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. I'm the master, all right? I'm the master of being bossy. You're not so tacky up close. All right. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Let's see here. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Yeah, you guys know the motto. If you're boozing, you're losing. You got that? You got that, kiddos? And you're boozing, nothing here. you're losing. Eh, we might as well turn Look, the lamp everyone, on. Max, there has to be some info in this. Oh, here we go. Files. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet, and in the wrong place. Holy crap, this is a lot. Kate Beverly Marsh, 3.9 GPA, represents the very best of students, 
As the school nurse, I should inform you that Kate appears to have experienced some recent emotional or physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset but vague and refused to talk further with me. I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her and make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion. Regards, Anne-Marie Borenci. Update! At present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party... <gasps> That has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached files for complete details. Where are the attached files? Principal Wells, where's the attached files? I think huh. we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. There we go. We have joined Chloe. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus? and my step-troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. Me, too. We got too. info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, uh, I'm not taking uh -uh. the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? <laughs> Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Is that money? Holy shit! Jackpot! Let's go! Jack Wow. Give me that money, Sonny. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Let's go to the There's strip club. Five thousand dollars here. Make it I could rain. pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this, or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Uh. Okay. Um. What was the money for? Did she say like a fund for something? Because if that's the case, then hell no. Uh, leave the money. Because she needs to pay that guy who took the gun. And he said, if you don't pay me, I'm gonna take this gun. And I'm gonna go, 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 And we don't want him to go, 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 go. So we have to help out Chloe, right? Let's see here. Let's see what happens if we leave the money. If I don't like that choice, then I'm going to rewind time. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I yeah, handicap fund. Frank, I am not stealing from the handicap fund. I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. Yep. I guess. We're not taking from Let's the handicap fund. Uh uh. Office, no, sir, Bob. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. Let's see here real quick. Maybe we missed something. What's that? I was surprised to get an unscheduled visit from Rachel Amber. She seemed quite upset and claimed that David Madsen was following and taking photographs. David Madsen, that's the teacher, right? Why is he so weird? Why is he so creepy? Okay, so David Madsen, man. We gotta go to his office and we gotta find out what's up. Because that is weird. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take I don't that know money how to, swim. to pay off Frank, <laughs> so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. 
Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you splish actually splash. just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Hey, I live in California and hella is part of the way we speak here. Like, this game is hella cool. It is hella hot in here. My hat is hella backwards right now. It's just part of our life. But they're in Washington, right? So, hey, you're, you're taking our word, all right? Leave hella to Californians and you Washingtons can say whatever you guys say. Shout out to all you people from Washington watching this, by the way, that's so triggered right now. Like, the he they told us to keep deal. our words to ourselves. Heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. I feel like I got a booger in my nose. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Go otters. Go otters! Give me an O! Give me a double T! Give me an E R S. What's that spell? Waters! Did I say waters? It spells waters! I mean otters. Jeez. Let's look at the thing. I hope the otters will survive. <laughs> yeah, me too. I wasn't laughing at the otters. Uh, I was laughing at me saying waters instead of otters, like a dummy. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. Missing cat picks? Desperate for my stolen backpack with school books and new tablet. I need this for class and my tablet has private pics of my late cats. Rest in peace. So I will pay a cash reward. No questions asked. If you have any details or would like to return the backpack, you have my contact info now. Please! I would add a few exclamation marks to the please to make it urgent. Like, please! Get me my pics! I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. Ugh. So, he lost, he or she lost their flexi wave swim goggles. I don't give a baker's fuck. Let's talk to Chloe. Let's go swim, baby girl. Boys or girls? You know what, guys? They're girls. They need to experience the other side of the locker room so they can see how disgusting it is. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. Let One pet peeve I have. Okay. Needed. Okay, while they're not talking. One pet peeve I have in locker rooms is when people walk around barefoot. Oh my goodness. That is the most disgusting thing ever. It's like, yo, you're literally walking in so much bacteria and piss. It's so disgusting. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. And I know I sound like a diva right now, like, Oh my god, at the locker room? It's so disgusting. Like, I sound like I such a bitch right now. I guess consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you. Love, Logan. Yeah, I'm Logan, trying to get that Dana poon. Sex me up! Something I would write on the walls. And Victoria loves the D. Alrighty then. Cool. Warren, I love Warren Gaygram. I bet you do. Yeah, let's see what she thinks about the Victoria Loves the D. Gotta get Max's thoughts. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. Ah, Max with the roast. See you. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Hey, I, I always wash my hands. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Yep. 69 reasons to bang Rachel. Oh, come on. Bros She's missing. Maybe there was something I needed to look at inside of the locker room. Let me go over there. Maybe a clue. Sometimes. What does it say? It says, no worries. It's all bad. Some poor hipster lost their vape. Oh, man, in California, everybody and their mama vapes. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Because he likes you, Max. He likes you. Borderline creepy, but he likes you. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Yeah, it's probably all stinky. Can I look at that? What is that? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Hey, thinking bad things about you. Cool, what are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing? I'm in the locker room, only wearing a jersey, sitting on my football. Don't you mean footballs? Okay, let me stop. This must be for training kids. Yeah. Are we good? Nathan's locker, here we go. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? 
Wrong. You should never be hooked on drugs. Crack is whack. I guess I should consider this evolution. And I know I said crack is whack, but those were just pills. But still, it still stands. Crack is indeed whack. And where is the thing? There it is. Okay. I'm ready for my swim, Chloe. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. The sharks? I don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. You want to see the sharks? What kind of pool is this? Oh, man. Night swimming is so scary. Have you guys ever done that? Oh, man. I went night swimming before. Holy crap. It is an experience. It is such a different experience than swimming during the day. I'll tell you that. Because, like... You think there's like so many things inside the water at night. So freaky. Wait, where's the light? 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 Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. Uh, I'll add name. Oh, for just one picture of their faces when they see my name. Yup. That'll be a good picture. Let's see here. Light? Let there be light? Where's the light? Oh, uh, here we go. In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Oh, never had it before. I'll take your yes, word for it, though. we get it. Otters. Go otters! Don't even think I'm gonna make a move on you. Shit. <laughs> I had to take a CPR training class. Those dolls are way harder to do the compressions on. Oh my god. It's so exhausting. God damn, that's bright. I think we need to calm that down. Making my eyes hurt. I got sensitive eyes too. So, the big plan is win. Win or go home. I mean, nobody plans to lose, right? Let's check inside here. Or not. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. Aw, oh, so cute. Anyway, it's time to swim with Chloe. Let's do it. Nice. Good job. Time to do or dive, Max. Do it. Do it. I want to do it. Do I have to do something? Oh, I just speak to her. Oh, yeah, baby. It feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not going to stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, Oh, yeah, hippie! Cowabunga! Woo! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun, 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 dun. You are so obvious. Fins up. And I still up, guys. up by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. What if I had? Thanks to you. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And... 
We're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Yeah, let's make her feel important. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? <laughs> and I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is nice. You're the bro killer. Gross! Warren is nice. I'll give him that. He's a nice guy. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's right. really cool. Friend zone! He was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. I don't know if it's just because me. I'm getting like a... Instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I'm I, getting uh, a let's be honest vibe here. Experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I kind of like it. I'm going to freeze my ass off when I get out. You guys know what I mean, though, right? Feeling that vibe. Like, the way they have these, like, silent stares at each other, I'm like, these girls aren't just BFFs. Seem like GFs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Oh, shit. Hi. Who the fuck is that? Is that Step Douche? Oh, crap. Let's go. Where's Chloe? Chloe? Oh, God. We have oh. to go now. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn. I thought that was somebody else. Are you shitting me? Who the fuck is that? Oh, it is Step Douche. Dude, hide! Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are Alright. Is he out here? Oh Hello? fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How did he know? Where are we gonna hide? Oh, I can't even see anything. It's so dark. Shit. Um let's see where he goes. Crap. Hello? Chloe? Anybody there? Uh oh. Better not try any Halloween Fuck. pranks after today. I'm serious. Shh. Fuck. I heard something over here. Shh. Okay. Once he goes on this side, we run. Who's here? Go. I, got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Oh, hey. I'm so scared. Oh, fuck. Damn it. How do you know? And a stick. How did he know? What? Can we rewind anymore? Fuck. Where are they? Max, no room, dude. Go find another place to hide. Hello? Damn it. Okay, we'll hide on the other side. No? Where the fuck do I go, dude? I can't see. It's so dark. Oh, I know where to hide. I know where to hide. I'm gonna hide in the hamper. Hello? Nope. Anybody I can't hide there? in the hamper. <laughs> Alright, we'll wait. We'll see what he does. And then once he goes over to the other side of the lockers, try any I'm gonna make my move for it and run. Today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Alright. Who's here? I got, I got a flashlight and a stick. Alright, fuckboy. We heard you the first time. Is he coming down here? Fuck. Shit. Okay. Where is he? I can't see. Oh my god. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yes! Oh, man. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Woo! We are so invisible. Let's Don't hug it out, just run! Thank you! 
All right. <laughs> Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. Wouldn't the stepdad know that Chloe's car is there? Get in. Come on now. All right, guys, I'm going to end this episode of Life is Strange here. If you guys want to see the next episode ASAP, leave a like on this video because I am not checking the comments. The like bar is the only way I'll know if you guys really want to see more of this series. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!